So I might be walking around on the streets and for some reason I feel rather uncomfortable and insecure. And nowadays I realize that that is because that is due to the lack of inclusivity and diversity in our society today. This picture right here is representing our world, our society today. And it has been colorful and really diverse in the past few years with all of these colors representing all different kinds of social groups filling up our world. And uh, as time will move on, it can go become a world where there's only one specific social group, one specific standard that we need to follow to be able to fit into this society. Now I'm going to talk about some factors about inclusivity and diversity. Racism is definitely the first thing that comes to mind when we think about oh, inclusivity and diversity. Um, this will include shades, uh, textures or birthmarks, anything that can be on our skin. Uh, people in our society will uh, create groups and we will be put into either we are black, brown or white. This can create a few problems for makeup industries, makeup brands, but if you can uh, see that our world is evolving through Fenty Beauty, NARS, MAC Beauty, even now REM Beauty for, uh, from Ariana Grande, they have created multiple ranges of shades for our skin tone. Uh, body types, we will, we all have different shapes and sizes for our body types. Uh, we, but we should love our body. We should accept uh, for our body for what they are because that is the only body we will ever get to have. Uh, our economy is the biggest part in any nation. Social media will, is quite familiar with you all, especially teenagers this age. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, even Twitter. You might see someone posting um, about their life uh, on YouTube or maybe pictures that they have taken on any social media platform. And the comment sections on these are really harsh and really cruel, and it could affect the posters, the owner of the account, uh, mentally and physically. For the work atmosphere, uh, we should have more um, um, diversity, uh, may having a certain standard for uh, other people to be able to work at your job is not a good example for the work atmosphere. And tourism businesses, this could include plane flights or booking your hotel. Um, it is really difficult to find the right and suitable hotel or plane seat for you. Uh, this could lead to um, the decreasing of investments in tourism businesses. Uh, the LGBTQ community is recognizable today and definitely tomorrow. Uh, and uh, for backgrounds such as ethnicity, religion or culture, this could shape your relationship with your partner. Your parents, friends, any relatives might be kind of against you being with that person, being with the person that you love. But that should not stop you from uh, loving that per specific person. Disabilities such as physical limitations like those in wheelchairs or um, those in crutches or maybe even invisible restrictions such as ADHD or lung disease. Um, these should be able to have a certain 
these should have a certain accessibility for them, uh, such as ramps or maybe those who go to the hospital to get their her, um, blood removed. <laughs> Uh, here are some pictures of the factors that I have listed in the previous minutes. Uh, here we can see the world, uh, relationships, work atmosphere, and friends. For the solutions that we can do to cre create more diversity and inclusivity is to accept ourselves for who we are. We shouldn't base ourselves off of someone opinion or comments that have uh, left that they have left creating inclusive environments uh, surround yourselves with the people that you love and who respect you and uh, these could affect your uh, mental and physical statements uh, avoiding stereotypes online of any sort, just, uh, such as gender stereotypes or stereotypes about different social groups or nations. Thank you for listening.